Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode, we took on Erica, and man, it was such a lengthy Let's Play. Not that lengthy, it was only like half hour long, but eh, you guys can take it. At least it's not like, you know, an hour long. That would have been just redonkulous. Um, but yeah, last episode, we had a bit of a problem where... I had no idea that one Pokemon was going to use water Pokemon because, as you know, Erica uses grass Pokemon and grass Pokemon are good against water. So I guess the joke is that Beauty is so dumb that she went up against Erica with just water Pokemon. But anyway, it, I, it took me off guard and I wasn't ready for it and I had to restart. It was only the second battle anyway, so it didn't take terribly long. It's not like I had to do like the entire, uh, entire like two thirds of the gym over, if not even like the entire gym over. So it was only half an hour. So it's whatever. Anyway, we're gonna be taking on Koga, the Poison Master. Uh, thing about Poison is that. It is weak against both Psychic and Ground. So we're going to be using lots of that. Yeah, why not? Dugong. I used Dugong already, but why not? Use him again. Alright. So you mostly have poison, I see. I see, I see. Um... Good thing we have Alakazam, uh, yeah, we have Alakazam, we have Sand Slash, oh, I probably could have chosen Marowak, damn it, 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 I love Marowak, All right. uh, Octoliba, anyway, I believe we're also going to choose... Hmm... Uh, Porygon, why not? It is psychic. Here comes the first opponent! An easy victory should be... Oh, this is going to be interesting. That's a weird looking ditto, by the way. Okay, hopefully I can go first and then... Does do a transform into anything even though I'm not there? Let's see if it does anything, really. Oh wow, I'm not even there and Dill transformed. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I didn't really always find Ditto that great of a Pokemon to begin with. Uh, if, it's a, if it's more resistant, then I hope I, uh, I, I hope I don't miss with this psychic move. Oh, it takes over the type too? I didn't know it could do that. I always thought it stayed as a normal type. What does Kinesis do? Oh, that's what it does. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep spamming Dig. A barrel on the ground. What's that? The move failed. I love how I love how has to take out another spoon in order to use Kinesis. Like it doesn't have spoon. Like it doesn't have spoons enough as it is. Oh, it's venom. Aw, dude, this venom is so. F Watch this. What now? Boom. I thought I would do more, but nope. Oh well. Confusion it is. <laughs> it's a revolving door of Pokemon! Yeah, dude, come on, cut it out. Let me just battle you, come on. Stop being a pussy. Stop whining! Stop it! A bit of arm towards the nigger. It might! This trainer's being a pussy about... Fighting, his, fighting with his Pokemon, keep switching them. 
That, see, that's what happens when you don't really, you know, keep switching your Pokemon. You let that happen, you're Ditto. Which Pokemon is coming out? I'll admit, Ditto was kind of a match for me because I didn't know it took over your type as well. I don't think it worked that way in the games, as far as I remember. I think it just, like, stayed in its normal, uh, type. It just, like, took over, like, it's, like... Appearance and move set, and that's about it. And like from what I remember, I think Ditto just had like some really crappy stats to it. So I guess it's kind of an okay first match. Again, I don't know what the other ones are. Oh, Tamer. Alright, I am kind of worried about Tamer, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. You do have, like, a sort of diverse set. Um, oh, boy. Oh, dear. Uh, you have, uh... Two Pokemon, or, no, sorry. Three Pokemon that are weak against Psychics. Uh... Two that are weak against grass. Hmm. 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 Decision. Decisions. I believe I will start out with. Hmm. Oh, I forgot what conversion does. To be honest. Oh, I think that just takes over the tide. Now that I think about it. I didn't even notice that Porygon had recovered. That's awesome. There's only like a handful of Pokemon that uh, can learn recover. Uh, one of them means Staryu, Porygon, and um, Kadabra. And also Mewtwo starts out with uh, recover as well. So yeah, Mewtwo is such a boss in that aspect. Um, I will start out with Porygon now that I think about it. I will also, uh, enter, hmm, hmm, I will enter my dugong into the arena as well, uh, I will also put my, How about this? Alright. I'm not going to choose Porygon. I'm going to choose Alakazam being first. Dugong, and then Executor. Sound good. Very good. Here's the second adversary. The challenger needs to stay calm to earn... What is that behind? Is that just slime pouring from the walls? It's pretty hardcore, actually. Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. And I'm very upset it didn't kill him in one hit. Oh well. Alright, another confusion, and it should be over with. Flash out confusion! Perfect time! I kind of like that Koga's gym has like slime spewing from the walls. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, it's Scyther! Scyther! How will the type the Prince of I will uh, switch out with Dugong. Because uh, Dugong knows Ice Beam. Oh, it's Dugong! What was the site they're gonna use anyway? Oh, just slashing that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 
a hit. Yeah, it's a hit. It did sh damage, but yeah, it's a hit. All right. Ah. Oh no. Okay, let's do this. Taste the rainbow, mother. Please kill him. Please kill him. Ah, that's close. Alright, as long as you don't get a critical hit, nothing to worry about. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, you're still good. You're still good. Team player. GG, man. GG. I shouldn't say GG yet, though. <laughs> Although, I, I, I probably am, like, being a bit too cocky at this point. <laughs> Uh, There's a difference I'm a bit slap happy if you uh, if you haven't noticed. I have been up for a, quite a bit. It's probably like around like yeah, it's like almost like two in the morning here. Or at least at the time I'm recording this. So I might end up taking a break after this and just like hit hit, uh, hit the sack. I don't care if Dugong dies. I thought I might have just, you know, uh, finished off Ivysaur in one hit with that aura beam, but nah, I was wrong. I don't care. I still have two Pokemon left. So I'm just gonna send out Alakazam to finish things off. You know what's kind of weird? I always thought that, like, Bulbasaur was just a grass type Pokemon. I didn't know, like, it was both grass and poison. The only pure grass Pokemon that I could think of is just Tangular, really. And there goes the battle. What battle am I on anyway? Am I on battle two? Yeah, I was on two. Three is coming up right now. Sometimes I lose track. Just. I think the reason why I lost track is just because of that whole ordeal with Erica, really. God, I'm, I'm still upset. Oh, jeez, you just have like a whole bunch of psychic Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty surprising. I have Dolteon for that. <laughs> um, I don't know about Sandslash. I don't think it should be... Although, I, I, hypothetically, I could also send out Executor. Yeah, let's do that. Executor is, like, not really that effective against, uh, Psychic Pokemon to begin with. Wait, I forgot. What does Executor even have? It has, uh, Mega Drain and Leech Seed. Oh, it has Egg Bomb. That's, uh, uh, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Sit out Sand Slash. It's the gym's third opponent. The gym leader is waiting right after this. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how you want to start off a battle. Just a slow bro like staring you down. Ah, god. Mimic. Double kick? Double kick? Okay. Oh, I was afraid it was gonna do that. Oh well. Was it gonna lose? Oh, Hypno. Great, I get to waste a thunder off of the Hypno. Oh, critical hit? Is it gonna take it out on one hit? Aww. Oh. Close. But hey, I have Pin Missile. I was still surprised that... I was still surprised that I think... I forgot what episode it was. In one episode uh, prior to this, I actually took out uh, a Psychic type with a Pin Missile. And it was in one hit. I'm still surprised at that. And by the way, all you Dragon Ball C fans, 
feel free to make a Dragon Ball joke about the Dabber's uh, forehead. Oh, what? How did it take out? Ugh. It created a substitute. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, like, poison it. I almost forgot I can do that. I didn't know this cadaver knew. Ah, oh, whatever. Am I just gonna be a spamming pin missile here? I suppose so. Ouch. What a furious battle! Poses. Strike fighting poses. We've been standing here this whole time, dude. Devastating. Devastating. Please knock it out. Oh, yeah. Close. At least it didn't use recover again. At least I have the upper hand here. One more should do it. And then all I have to do is just use thunder on Slowbro. Yeah. There's a difference in the number of reserves. I just feel like a Pokemon geek in the sense that I'm such a nerd that even I know that you know bug type moves are good against psychic types. Because I don't think any other like type outside of bug can really dish out some damage against psychic types. It's a one-hit wonder. Speaking of weird shenanigans happening in the Pokemon universe, um, in the anime, they made this whole ordeal about Slowbro evolving from uh, having a shell there, like, clamp onto its tail. Even I still don't get that. Why does that happen? It's just weird that some Pokemon are... It's just, it's just so weird in the sense that, ah, oh, whatever, I don't care anymore. It's just sort of weird that Slowbro evolves like that, or at least from a Slowpoke, that is. Because a Slowpoke is supposed to go fishing for a shell there, and it's supposed to clamp onto his tail and become a Slowbro. And they made this whole big deal about how it benefits them both, where in reality, what, what is shell they're getting out of it? And you know what the weird thing is? That I guess these Pokemon are sort of united together. Because when it does happen, in the anime, when uh, Shadow does clamp on to uh, Slowpoke's tail and both become a Slowbro, Shelder still, uh, is still like saying, Shelder! Which is totally weird, because what is Shelder getting out of this? And, like the professor or whatever that was in that episode, he said, Shelder gets to travel on land. Um, okay, what else does Shelder get? Because otherwise Slowpoke can now you, you stand on two legs and can learn moves like Mega Punch and whatnot. And that's about it. What does Shelder get out of it? Ah, oh, well, I don't care. It's a stupid episode. Alright, Alakazam, Porygon, and, uh, and, uh, uh, oh, Sand Slash. Koga! Poison! About the effects of poison? Yeah, too bad you can't carry, like, antidotes or anything. So, that's always a... The big challenge of this game is that you don't have the luxury of using any items or whatnot. Like that, like the whole paralysis thing. I couldn't do a single thing about that. If you're paralyzed or frozen or whatever, you can't do a single goddamn thing about it. You just have to watch your Pokemon suffer, that's all, until it dies. Then again, it also adds to the strategy aspect, which I could definitely say. Totally makes this game a lot more harder. 
And harder in a good sense, because I love a good challenge as far as the Pokemon, Pokemon games go. <sighs> it just sucks that some of this Pokemon I just can't take with me. Not that I would want to, like teaching it new moves is just a pain. Because as you all know, these regular Pokemon have sucky moves. Ah! Alright. Let's see, we're gonna bring out Sand Slash. Oh, it's Sand Slash! Excuse me. Hell yeah, they are. Dig a ton of dig, dig a ton now. Now we're gonna dig a bigger ton of. Dig a ton of dig, dig a ton of. Quick before the muck uses minimize. Aw, oh, sh. Minimize is such a punk move. See, I wish I had Swift. For these specific moments in particular. Oh, I hit him anyway. Because Minimize, like double uh, team, it accrues the evasive maneuvers of that Pokemon. And Swift is the infamous move that lets you hit the Pokemon no matter what happens to them. No matter if they increase their evasiveness or... Oh sh**, I just realized that. He's a flying type, poison. Oh no! Alright, I'm gonna switch out with Alakazam after this. This should be good, right? Yep. Whatever, I didn't take any chances, I want... Never mind, that was awkward. I forgot Alexander fainted. That was awkward. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take a break of uh, recording these episodes. Cause yeah, I am getting really. I'm yeah, I'm getting really out of it. I'm barely forming, forming sentences anymore. Ow! Don't do that. Oh yeah, I would. What do I do? Ah! Stop sucking me, you friggin' bug. There it go. How's that for an insult there? Stop sucking me, you friggin' bug. Ah! What's that? Now I get off. Yeah, it's a hit. Alright. Stage clear. Alright, we're making uh, some very good progress here. I have to admit. Not to my own horn or anything, but uh, we're doing pretty damn good. Pretty darn good. Alright, um... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to take a break from recording. So, yeah. Join me for the next episode where we take on Sabrina. The Psychic Trainer. And you probably already know what Pokemon we're going to use for her Psychic Pokemon. That's right, we're definitely going to use Jolteon here. And, uh, quite possibly... Quite possibly be drill. So, yeah, I'm really sleepy. I'm gonna stop recording so I can get some shut eye and then start recording again in the morning. So, uh, next time we're gonna be taking on Sabrina of the Saffron City Gym. So, I'll see you guys then. <laughs>